welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Makeup by Charlie or Charlotte and yeah, you'll have seen this look already because it was my last video. I will link it up there if you've not seen it. <laughs> um, I'm filming two videos today because I've been behind <laughs> so I just thought well I feel good I will do another one. So yeah, in today's video I'm going to do my 2020 favourites. I know it's a very popular video at the moment but if anybody's interested to know what my favourites have been in the last year then yeah, please do keep on watching. So I will start off with eyeshadow palettes. Um, I've got a few here that have been my favourites this year. Uh, this one has been a favourite of mine for years and it's still in my favourites because I love using it for when I want to do a neutral look. So this is the Dose of Colours Friendcation palette um, by, in collaboration with Desi and Katie and as you can see it's well used and beautiful, really nice, highly pigmented, easily blendable, lovely neutral palette with pops of colour. Highly recommend. The next one has probably got to be up there with my top palette, probably is my top palette for this year, just gone, 2020. Yeah, I'm going to say it, it's my favourite palette of last year and that is the Be Perfect um, in collaboration with Stacey Marie for the, Car the Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette. You'll have seen this. It's amazing. <sighs> for the price, the colours, the pigmentation, the blendability, it's amazing and I... I recommend you to get it if you've not got it already. It's been definitely one of my favourites of this year. I, When I first bought it, I struggled to not use it because I loved it so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's lovely. Definitely a favourite. Next, um, I'll put these two together because they're sort of, they're not the same collection, but they came out within like a week of one another and I, I loved them both equally at the same time. And that is the Beauty Bay Book of Magic palette and the Beauty Bay Sunset Horizons palette. So the Book of Magic looks like this. Oof. And the Sunset Horizons looks like this. These are £15 each from Beauty Bay. And to be honest with you, Beauty Bay have smashed it this year. Um, really highly, highly pigmented. Very nice, they blend really well. The shimmers are stunning. £15 for the amount of shades that you get, they're absolutely fantastic. Um, I believe, I know this one's definitely a limited edition, not sure on the Sunset Horizons, but if you haven't got them, give them a go, definitely. I'm probably going to say that for everything because they're my favourites for a reason, but fantastic. Um, again, <laughs> when I got this one, I struggled to put this one down. Very nice and very, very pretty colours. Next, this is from a lovely indie brand um, that I discovered last year from a lot of friends that I have who have bought from this brand. Um, I know my friend Teresa loves them. Um, she really advocates for them because they're a fantastic brand. And the lady that runs it is an absolute diamond as well. She's really nice. Um, and this is the Lois Cosmetics Rose Metal Eyeshadow Palette. And the packaging is so pretty. Um, in particular this one in my favourites because I've only used the Gone Rogue once or twice so it, it's good but um, I've not used it enough to, for it to be a favourite yet. But this one I've used pff, countless of times. Um, it's well used. Uh, it's stunning. Such a stunning neutral palette with gorgeous shimmers. This one is probably my favourite shimmer. This is Self Love. It's pink with gold reflex in it. It's it's absolutely stunning. Let me just swatch it. It's it's beautiful. Um, and I do like to support indie brands, smaller brands, um, especially at the moment. Well, any time really. Um, I always like a, what we call it, an underdog. Um, but they're fantastic. Great quality eyeshadow palette. Good price. I think that's £20 for that eyeshadow palette. Um, she also does other products which are in my favourites as well, which is amazing. Um, yeah, a fantastic brand. Brilliant. I would a million... I'm actually not going to say that because I don't believe in that. It's 100%. I 100% rec recommend. And my last eyeshadow palette in my favourites is the, again, a Beauty Bay one. It is the Beauty Bay Bright Matte palette. Oh. Now this is obviously an all matte palette, 
um, but it's got every colour you can think of for a, a look. It's fantastic. Um, let me just go in. So it's got it's obviously it's bright, colourful mattes here, but um, it's also got some neutrals up at the top if you want to do a neutral look. Um, it's great. Uh, Twenty three pounds for the amount of shades that you get. The quality is fab. Like I said, Beauty Bay have absolutely smashed it this year, uh, this year. So definitely in one of my favourites. Glad that I've got it. Yeah. So miscellaneous items. I'm just gonna go into like pigments glitters things like that the first one that i love um and a brand this brand in particular i loved in this last year but this one in particular like shade is the the brand's the pastel roses and this is the shade autumn love pigment i don't know if you can see now this one's like a, a gold with green pink reflex it's gorgeous really really pretty um I've bought three or four pots of these because they're so nice. But they do some really lovely ones. Um, let me just have a look what I've got. Just try to pick up some different ones. <laughs> so this one's Citrine. And then I've got this one which is Twilight. There's just some gorgeous ones and they're really cheap. Again, another nice indie brand with lovely products sorry i'm just messing around putting it back Ooh. um yeah really cheap lovely um another one another indie brand that i found this year is sheen now sheen do well the things that i've got from sheen are the graphic eyeliners or the water activated liners oh hello darling and now you miss mama Sorry, it must miss me. <laughs> um, they're water activated liners. They're fantastic. Um, I don't know how many times I've said fantastic in this video already and it's probably like five minutes in. They're brilliant, superb, stupendous. Um, <laughs> really easy to use, highly pigmented. They don't crack, which is fab. Um, and they're a good price. What more can you want? Um, so yeah, you just basically... Um, just I just spray a bit of primer in there, probably shouldn't, probably should use water. Spray a bit of primer in there, let it think, and mix it up until it gets to a right consistency. I normally pop it on the back of my hand just to check the consistency before I try, and then Bob's your uncle, off you go. Fantastic. Um, another discovery that I've had this year, again from Lois Cosmetics, like I said I've got quite a few of her products in my favourites this year. so. Uh, Lois brought out some, I think they're called the, well, whatever, the, the liquid sort of glitter shy shadows, I want to say, oh, I don't know what they're called, like the Steeler dupes, and I've got five of them, I think I'm missing one, but they're brilliant, I'm, I can't remember how much they are, I think, I want to say £6, might be wrong, maybe £8, but... They're just stunning, and this one's my favourite, which is Queen's Guard. And look at that. And they dry down lovely. They dry down perfect. With my eyes, with them being oily and annoying, basically, they um, a lot of these products, if they don't dry down properly and they slip and slide around, they do crease and bunch up in my eyes. These do not. Um, yeah, great. Another favourite that I've got to put in here is a, a favourite I've had for about, well, it's probably over a year now, but um, the Barry M Holographic Eye Toppers, really cheap, beautiful, um, you guys probably know about these as, again, so let me just, it's probably not the best, that is not the best swatch, but <laughs> trust me, they are lovely, um, I'm just horrendous at swatching, I think I might just give it up as a a bad job. So that's sort of like miscellaneous stuff. Um, another thing that I is a favourite of mine, which I'm just gonna just grab it from my drawer, and that is my pink honey honey glue super hold, which is the original. This is a new one. I must have picked up the new one, said the old one. And yeah, it's amazing. I've not used a product like this before. Holds my brows down, fantastic. Um, yeah, cheap, cheerful, holds my brows in place. I've also bought the um, Pink Honey Wonder Wax. 
I've only been trying this a couple of times. Um, it's probably well on its way to being a favourite, but I can't quite give it that yet because I've not used it enough. But I just thought I'd give it a mention. Whilst on the subject of brows, my ultimate favourite brow product, yeah, of all time, is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 3.5. I just love how skinny it is. If I can get to it. Skinny little nib. Lovely. Benefit's really good for a lot of its staple products being brow stuff, blushes, highlighters. You guys know this. So yeah, that's my favourite. Um, let's go on to foundations next, shall we? So this is not going to be a surprise because it's my holy grail foundation ever and I, I love it. I will wear it on my wedding day should I ever get married. And this is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I use the shade Mont Blanc. I've got it on now. It's looking nice and glowy. Um, I've bought three or four bottles of this now and I love it so much. Bit pricey but it's amazing. I've never had a bad makeup day. Where... Another favourite of mine, um, foundation wise, is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Soft Matte Comfort Matte Foundation. I like to wear this um, when I go to work, if I'm in the office, if I've got a long day. Um, I just like it. It's got a nice medium coverage. Um, it's matte, but it helps. Con it controls my oils really well. I really like it. It's nice, and it used to smell like peaches. It doesn't so much anymore. Another favourite, which I did actually find last year, even though it's not a new product. Um, this is the Revolution Matte Base Foundation. I use the shade F3. Amazing. I've literally got a teeny tiny bit left of this. Um, but I love this so much. Um, it took me so long to buy it as well, but it's fantastic. So cheap, £5. Definitely a favourite. And last but not least, this is another Revolution product. This is the Revolution Conceal and Glow Foundation in, again, F3. I really like this foundation. It's lovely. It's not the most long wearing foundation for me, because me being oily, but, 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 it does wear nice. Um, my oils do come through but if I just make sure I keep on top of it by blotting down um, powdering throughout the day it looks lovely really nice and it gives an absolutely gorgeous glow this one I believe is mm, £9 or £10 and um, you just get usual standard 30, 20, oh no it's not 23ml I thought it was 30ml but still cheap cheap and cheerful concealers uh, this one is a long-standing favourite, probably my most favourite that I've got. And this is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. A bit pricey, but you get a lot of product. I love it. I use the shade Swan. I've nearly run out of this, so I need to repurchase this. Um, another one I've got is the NARS um, Natural Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've got that on now. really like it. It's not got the best coverage in the world, but it gives you a really nice radiant look underneath your eyes. It's, it's very nice. Um, a solid favourite and a recent one that I bought this year is the Maybelline Fit Me found, uh, foundation blah, blah, blah. concealer um, and yeah I really like this it's really cheap it's lovely it doesn't dry down quickly so I have time to slap it all over my face and time to blend it out which I do like to do because I don't like to put it on my face blend it don't know why but I don't you tell me what's wrong with me Go on to powders next. So I have, I have, I have a lot of favourite powders because with me being me, oily, um, I like to not over powder my face, but I do like to set my base. Uh, one that I found this year, recently actually, um, and it's definitely moved and hurtled its way towards my favourites because I use it a lot. Um, and this is the Kimchi Chick Puff Puff Pouse set and bake powder in the shade translucent this makes my skin look amazing it looks so flawless looks so smooth um and it holds my makeup in place lovely it's beautiful especially under my eyes um even though i'm oily i still have wrinkles under my eyes because i'm 27 <coughs> nearly 28 i'm getting there you know everybody has wrinkles on their eyes even the, the youngest of people i think it's just normal and yeah, it makes my eyes look lovely. It doesn't go all creppy and horrible. So yeah, it's always good. Just knocking things on the floor. 
another favourite, which is an expensive favourite, but I'm really sorry. I'm sorry I'm including this in it, in this video, but it really does make my skin look amazing and it's it is worth the money, I will say. And this is the Charlotte, Til Charlotte Tilbury. I should be able to say my own name, shouldn't I? Airbrush Flawless Finish Perfecting Powder. Now this is not cheap. I believe it's £35 for this. But, my God, it makes you look amazing. I only really use this for special occasions, but it's fab. Fab. I do have other fra 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 favourites in powder as well, such as Malaria, Lara Mercier Translucent Powder, but it's a continuous favourite. Um, so I can't be asked to talk about it, it's nice. Blushes. Um, I hope I can find it. My long standing favourite and will always probably be my favourite is my Milani um, blush in Luminoso. Um, it's rubbed off on the front, I've used it that much. Gorgeous. It's a long standing favourite and it's a cult favourite with a lot of people, as I know. Um, a recent favourite, again, which I keep gravitating towards. I am putting this in here because I've been using it so much lately, and that is my Doll Beauty um, blush in the shade. Take me to pe to the peach. Very peachy, very nice. It's a bit pigmented, but the colour is beautiful. And I will put this one in as well because I really like this one. And this is the Beauty Bay one again. Beauty Bay smashing it. And this is in the shade Peachy. This is really nice and really cheap. Packaging's flimsy, but what would you expect when it's really cheap? It's a cheap product. Don't care. I care what's inside. It's a favourite. I do grab that as well a lot. There's a running theme here, isn't there? Peachy. Bronzers. Fenty. Powder bronzer in the shade Under Sun. Always will be a favourite. Benefit. Hula Light. Nearly, I've panned it. Nearly finished. Always will be a favourite. Amazing. Again, a new favourite bronzer. I'm going to give me a little bit more of this one. This is another Doll Beauty one in the Gimme Sun in the shade Light. Very nice. Lovely. Do like me a good bronzer. Highlighter. I've got four here because I do love my highlighters, I have to be honest. Um, I'll just go quickly through these because these are easy because I use them a lot on my channel. Um, Ofra, Star Island. Yeah, well used, as you can see I've panned it a little bit. Getting there anyway. Um, the Kleidos Ray Rider um, highlighter. I've used that a lot on my channel or on my Instagram pictures anyway. Benefit Cookie. A little bit dark for me, don't care, it's stunning. Come at me if you think that it gives me a cast. I'll fight you. I won't really. Maybe. Also, I'm really sorry about <laughs> my video when um, I was giving you a bit of a life update and using the Stone Cold Fox palette for New Year's Eve. My hair was... <laughs> I was editing and I was like, oh, oh god, oh. Woman, you look shocking. I did look bad. But, just goes to show, we all look shit sometimes. And I definitely did look shit that day, but never mind. And, yeah, my most recent favourite, again, is the Doll Beauty. Like a diamond highlighter. There's quite a lot of Doll Beauty in this favourites. I really enjoy their stuff. I have to say, to say that I've only just recently used them couple of months, well not even a couple of months, like maybe one, two months ago. They've creeped into my favourites really quickly. And they, I, I have to say I've been using them. Oh, one more, one more. It was hidden at the back, I wondered where it was. Um, bronzer, the Belgian Waffle Palette. Cheap, cheerful, the highlighters in it are stunning. These two bronzers here, beautiful, £15. Go get it. Why am I talking like this, like a salesperson? really fast. Don't know. Lippies are a bit of a hard one to be honest. Um, I'm just going to go with my favourite comfortable brand. The Fenty lipsticks are up there. They're very comfortable. S stylish, lovely, very nice. I will say that these Be Perfect ones, I've only worn them a few times, very comfortable. 
they get in there with the favourites. I won't put them there yet, but they're, they're good. They're nice. Um, probably my favourite lipstick that I do wear the most in my own day-to-day -day life is the Dose of Colours Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Bear With Me because I find it really comfortable um, in formula and the shade is really nice. Um, it's pretty much my lips but better. It's slightly peachier. But yeah, I like it. It's very nice. Um, lip liners. Um, I'll be honest with you. Lip liners, I'm not really that fussed about. If they do the job, I'm alright with it. I'll give you a few brands off the top of my head. The Emmy Away ones are nice. Um, Primark do some really nice ones. NYX, I like the NYX ones. I've just started using the Beauty Bay ones, which are seem really nice. Really nice and creamy, so... Yeah. Um, pencil eyeliners. I use Colourpop mainly. Uh, Barry M have some nice one, nice ones in the high vis um, category. This one in particular is beautiful. Just grab it. Um, it's this like navy blue, and this is in the shade. I think it's caution. Is it caution? Yes, caution. So yeah, very nice. Um, liquid liner. Um, let's see if I can find them. I can't find them. Mm. So I have two liquid liners which have been my favourite this year. One is the Steeler Stay All Day Liquid um, Black Liquid Eyeliner. I really like it. It does what it does. It does what it says on the tin. The thing that I look for in a black eyeliner, because I do like to do a wing um, often for like my daily makeup, is if it rubs off and gives me panda eyes. That doesn't. And the other one again is Lois Cosmetics. Um, she brought out some eyeliners this year. Um, the normal black one. That's a favourite as well because that does the same, it does what it says on the tin, it's a good price and it doesn't smudge everywhere which, great. Um, setting sprays, it could be one. So I have two, which are my favourite, so you, this one's nearly done. Um, the L'Oreal Shake and Glow Illuminating Setting Spray. Uh, it gives my skin a lovely glow. Once say it makes the longevity of my skin um, make up my base makeup any better. Maybe a little bit, but not the best, but it makes me look good and I like it, so staying in. And the other one, which is again might been my favourite for a long time, is the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, which is why I have this humongous bottle. I also have the glow version, which is nice. Um, I normally pop this on if I want to wear it all day. I pop it on before my makeup because it really, really does work. Fantastic, that's a Robert Welsh trick. And yeah, just knocking everything over as I always do. And that's everything, I think. I've just been just going through and rooting through my drawers. You'd think I'd have them all out here ready, but I'm unorganised. Well, actually, no, I'm not, not normally, but today I'm unorganised. But yeah, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Fingers crossed. And yeah, if you like my content, could you please like? comment and subscribe it would mean the world to me especially if you subscribe please <laughs> um, yeah it helps me out more than you would realize and yeah thank you very much and thank you for joining me and i will see you in the next video guys bye